In Windchill, you can manage any electronic files as documents. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in Windchill in a web browser. I'm going to start off, let's say I want to create a separate library just for documents. I'll go to view all. I happen to have permissions as a library creator. If you have permissions, you can use this icon to create a brand new library. And for the name of this, I'm going to call this documents because that's what I'm going to use to store it. You have to specify a template. Here are a few different templates that I have in my Windchill instance. I'm just going to choose a general library and private access. No, I want everyone to be able to access this who I give permissions to. So let's click OK out of there. And my new library has been created. Let me choose to browse over here. Now it's in my recent libraries. I'm going to expand this so I can go to the folders. And right now I don't have any folders. Again, if you have permissions, you could create a new folder. I'm going to create a folder for my windshield documentation. And if you want to, you could click the next button if you want to start doing some access control in here. If you want to make multiple folders, you can click the apply button, but I just want this one, so I'll, I will click finish. And now my folder has been created. Let me click on it to get into the folder. And to create new documents, you're going to use this icon that looks like a Word document with a star on it. So I will click on that and we get the form for creating a document. Your administrators might set up different soft types of documents for you to use. There are a bunch already in here. I'm just going to use the regular document type. And now we can specify the content that we want for the document. I'm going to use my browse button over here. Let me go to a folder I threw a bunch of different files in. And again, you can use Windchill to manage any documents whatsoever. Let me start off by managing a PowerPoint presentation. I will select it and then click OK. And then you can change the name if you want. In this particular system, the number for the object will be generated automatically. It will by default be placed in the folder from which you clicked the icon to create a brand new document, but you could change that if you want to. And here you have an option to keep checked out after checking it in. Uh, this is fine. So now I can click the next button and now you can add other additional attachments in here. So your documents can have attachments. If I use this button over here, I can attach another local file. So maybe I want to include the PDF of that as an attachment. And let's add in another one over here. Maybe I have a PNG file of an image. And I could create these as their own separate documents as well. There are a couple of other different kinds of attachments that you can do. Here's for a URL. And for the URL, you could put in maybe the source of where the document came from, and I could put in my URL. And another kind of attachment that you can do is external storage. And this is commonly used when you want to manage a physical object in Windchill and then specify where it is. And so for the external location, you could put in here, it's just like, you know, storage. And then you could write in other additional information to specify where exactly someone could find this in the real world, like second floor. Actually, you can put it in the other field. And, you know, whatever information to tell people where they could locate something physical in the real world. So those are all the different kinds of attachments that you can create. Let's click the finish button. And so my document was created. If you click on the information icon, here you can see the document information for it. We have a structure tab. You can actually have a structure to documents. For example, if you have multiple chapters in a document as separate files, you could build up the structure in here. 
There's a content tab. Here's where we can see the other different attachments. And you've got related objects, changes, history, and visualization. You can even have publishing for different documents. Let me use my breadcrumb trail to go back to the folder over here. And let's just create another couple of documents real quick. Let's click on the new button over here. I'm just going to use the general document type. Again, I can browse and let's that show that you can create one at, from an Excel file. And then to create the document, just click finish on there. Now we've got another document created. Hey, let's do one more. Again, set, set the type, hit the browse button to go to wherever it's located. This time I will do one of just regular Microsoft Word document file. Let's click the finish button. Then that way I've created three different documents here, a PowerPoint presentation, an Excel spreadsheet, and a Word document. So you can create whatever kinds of documents consisting of electronic files inside of Windchill. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.